If you ever want to see pretty privilege in action, all you have to do is look at the situation that is who made me a princess because it's a mess. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Ella Pastoral. If this is your first time ever coming upon this channel right here, typically I make videos relating to all of my favorite pieces of media. And in today's video, I am going to be explaining my personal beef with Who Made Me a Princess. So for those who don't know, Who Made Me a Princess is an extremely popular manhwa about a princess named Anastasia, who... Oh, and Tasha? I always suck at pronouncing manhwa names, but it's about this young princess who was neglected by her father in her first life, dies, and gets a second opportunity to live a life worth living. And my personal beef with who made me a princess is pretty privileged practically. So the reason why Princess Anastasia or Antasia, I'm going to go with Anastasia just because I like that name. The reason why she was neglected and mistreated by her father in her first life is that she was practically the reason why her mom died. A uh, personal beef that I have with a bunch of manwas is that if a girl or the main protagonist caused their mom to die via childbirth, instead of realizing that the child is the last remaining thing from their wife, the husband or father of the child practically will hate the child for killing the mom via childbirth and will literally put all of their negative emotions on the child causing them to be miserable for the entirety of forever and I just feel like this manhwa was my first example of that so like I said Anastasia practically caused her mom to die in childbirth and instead of appreciating Anastasia Claude the main character's father treats her so bad and neglects her so bad that people in the kingdom do not respect her as the princess of the nation and what makes me so sad is that in the first life there is a bunch of convoluted nonsense that happens in that manhwa but there is a plot by Claude's brother in order to trick Claude the Emperor into adopting a girl. I forgot what her name is but she is practically adopted by Claude because everybody is telling Claude that that is his real daughter and so Claude practically treats this brunette like his own child over his actual child Anastasia and Anastasia is just so heartbroken and it's so sad to see. Oh, the brown haired girl's name is Jeanette. I remember. Jeanette is practically treated like the real princess of the nation. And Anastasia died such a horrible, horrible death. And she's so, she practically dies with so much regret in her life. And that's how we're able to get her being reincarnated back before she died. This video was able to be made thanks to all of the support from my lovely Patreons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me in the year of 2024 as I make more video essays. Now let's get back to the regularly scheduled content. And even though I remember that Claude was such a terrible, good for nothing father, the fandom surrounding Who Made Me a Princess actively likes to forget how awful of a father Claude was just because of how fine he is. I'm not gonna lie, this man right here is a very attractive emperor, but bad dads will always give me the ick because how dare you be a bad dad? And Anastasia, the only way she's able to get her father to love her in this life is by acting all cutesy. And I'm just like, yo, he did the work of impregnating Anastasia's mom but he can't treat her nicely and Anastasia practically has to be the parent in that relationship and I, I just hate how parentified she is and who made me a princess and the fandom does not hate on Claude enough for me I be seeing thirst trap edits of Claude and I'm like dead be dad Claude ew and I, I, I just can't stand to see it because Anastasia deserved to be loved in the first life even when she wasn't acting cutesy for the benefit of her dad. I dropped the manhwa during the arc where Claude was in a coma because I was like I never liked that guy to begin with and he became too much of the plot focus. According to the book readers or whatever, Jeanette was even supposed to be more of a villain and there was also another reason why I didn't like Who Made Me a Princess because the villains weren't that intriguing. The main villains in Who Made Me a Princess are Claude's evil brother and that's it. And Claude's evil brother, he wasn't a charismatic enough for me b and i really never understood his reasonings for doing stuff like i get it he practically wants to use Jeanette as a 
mechanism to get Claude to die so I guess he can take over. But the way that plot was written was never intriguing to me. And then I saw how the manhwa ended. She practically became queen even though Claude was still alive. And I'm like, I'm so glad I... uh dnf this because i'm like this looks so whack a manhwa that i feel like is actually good and has almost that exact same plots but done well i feel like it's actually i'm a real one and the villain in that manhwa she's actually so intriguing charismatic i will she low-key makes you roost for her. She just she just has that little special something that we didn't get in Who Made Me a Princess. And I just wanted to do a video talking about this because I was just so sick and tired of y'all trying to uphold Claude as this hot deal figure when he is literally a bad dad. And people do not talk enough about how bad of a dad he is. And it was upsetting me and my homegirls because I'm like, Claude, he ain't it. If we're looking for a good deal or whatever, I recommend um the dad and in this life I'll be a matriarch Ghislaine I think his name is his daughter killed his wife via childbirth and even though that was the situation surrounding his daughter he loved his daughter because he saw his daughter as the last gift his wife gave him and I feel like that's how it really should be let me know if you guys like these videos where I talk about the manhwas that I've read because I have a bunch of other thoughts on popular manhwas that i could really be chit chatting about if you guys like this video make sure that you hit the thumbs up button it really helps support this channel and push this video in the algorithm and if you just want to see more of me and more of my commentary style videos make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can see more of me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye